Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm doing another one of my how I do my videos video. Um, what I'm going to be doing is editing, showing you, instead of doing a video that I've, that I'm working on and editing to show that I edit it like I did my previous one. That's just kind of getting crazy there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the editing process that I go through on my most recent video of 1982 Blade Runner directed by Rid Ridley Scott. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my copyright disclaimer because I am in this video I am dealing with copyrighted material. The algorithms in YouTube will flag the video and pull the video if you don't put some kind of disclaimer on it that you're using it under fair use. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I use this for, I use this video for different, I use it, or I should say, yeah, it's a video. It's almost nine, it's 8.98 seconds long. I use this for all my videos in which I'm dealing with copyrighted material. But I overlay a different sound that make it kind of unique to the video that I'm working on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here to edit. And the, the sound waves you see here at the bottom are the old sound that's already saved on it. So what I'm going to do is go up to here to video volume. I'm going to mute it. Then I am going to go over to here, speed. I'm going to make this longer. I want it 1 minute and 11 seconds because I want, because I'm going to be loading a large chunk of audio. Then I'm going to edit it back down. So I make sure I get what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back up here where it says home and click here. Go to add music. Then add music. What's important is this is a, this is all music. But in the event, let's go to a different folder real quick. Let's say I wanted to pull music off a of video. As you see here, with this set to audio and music, you see nothing. But if I take this and switch it to video or audio and video, I could I could realistically take this here, this this film here, and put the volume. This is the overlaid volume. Or overlaid music, not volume, overlaid music. But I'm not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here, add music. I'm gonna go back to my uh, folder which has my music in it I've got Blade Runner so I'm doing the Blade Runner movie so let's have part of the soundtrack it loaded the sound now I'm gonna listen to it and see what I want to listen to there we go And if I try to edit this, I'll show you. Okay, see, I want this section right in here. Actually, I want basically from about right here. So. And if I were to edit, try to edit this, what would happen is I go over here to edit, split, then. Uh, 
I'm going to split. I'm going to delete this. Delete this. If you notice the wave, it just squinched the music into a smaller section. So what we do to fix this is I can go up here and hit undo, 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 undo. So what I do is I've got this here. I know where I want to cut my volume in at. So um, home, I want to save this. I've got everything on my main hard drive in an editing folder. It's just easier to keep everything together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite this and tell it to save. Yes, I want to replace it. And for some reason, this version of Windows Movie Maker, somehow, I don't know if it's on my computer or if it's just the version I have or if all versions do it. But in order for, in order for me to load this up properly, the saved version of this, I have to exit out. Um, you could try not doing it on yours and see what how it happens, but uh, let me try this. Let's go back up a file. Actually, let's go back up here. It helps if it's looking for it in the right place. So let's go here. There we go. Now it's going to load it. It's got to load all the audio. There we go. So. I want to do is I want to stop right here maybe ease it there we go use this and ease it just hair a couple hundredths of a second there go to edit split I'm going to go ahead and delete this then go This is going to be a little bit long, but I like the music. I'll go ahead and make it 13 seconds even, and I'm using this back thing here. And it's 13 seconds is a little bit long for a disclaimer or something of this nature. Usually eight, anywhere from about five to 10 seconds is, is more than sufficient, but this is just what I like. It's just listen to it. Make sure I got what I want. There we go. So then we go back to home and we save. High definition display. So I can then click this again. Yes, yeah, so I want to override it again. Now what we're going to do, I want to close. Now what we're going to do now is start working on the video itself. We'll scroll down and scroll down to here. And this here is going to take a little bit. As you can tell, this is a 16 minute, 16 minute, 46 seconds and some change video. So. There we go. We have our audio. Hello and welcome to this video. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. C. B. See what I've done here? I have my hands. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go B. And what we're going to do is go to caption. And what I'm going to do is put the letter. Oh. Okay. What I'm going to do is, first of all, bold, which I already did. That's control. You push your control B to get it to bold like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shift B. 
I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to change the color to black. Because black's going to show up better. Then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to change the size of my letter. 22. Nope. Let's see what 36 looks like. Nope. Let's give me a 72. There we go. Letter B. And that is as big as it gets. So when you watch this. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. C. B. As in Blade Runner. Yes, today's. So now. What I need to do is I need to go here and click and run my duration on my letter B out and make sure, yeah, that should be about right. Let's see. Let's go back here and see what we got. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. B as in Blade Runner. Yes, today's video is going to be about the That's 1982 the effect I Ridley Scott masterpiece, Blade Runner. And that was the effect I was looking for. And, and the effect is a letter just magically appears in the air to my side under, over my hands, then disappears, and I bring my hands back down. All that, like I said, all that is, is using your caption and moving it around to where you want it. It's just, and, make it and make it stretch for the length that you want it to run for. It's a neat little trick. It's just fun to do. Um, here. 82 Ridley Scott Masterpiece. Now, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to insert a picture of Ridley Scott. But what I'm going to do is you see how this is 26.53 26 seconds. And because math is hard, I'm going to back this up to 26 seconds even. The default setting for a, when you insert an image is 7 seconds. I don't mess with that. I don't try to make it longer. I don't try to make it shorter. Simply because of math. Um, I know it's seven seconds and I can count on my fingers. You go six, 26, you go 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So I know 33 seconds is seven seconds. So I go ahead and I'll cut. Piece. Oh, never mind. I messed this up. I forgot. I got ahead of myself. I do that. So let's run this back to 26 seconds even okay go ahead and edit we'll put a split so like I said we go 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 so we do 33 seconds even that's where we want our next split to piece Blade Runner um, very 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 loosely see I stopped it at 32 and some change We'll move this up slowly to 33. 33. And we'll look at this. This is 16.46.75. You need to remember that number. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take another split here. Delete here. See this here? Jump down. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to home and we're going to add a picture. This picture of Ridley Scott here. And of course, Windows Movie Maker is going to put it at the end. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll move you back up here. Where's my split at? That's the problem with long videos. That's kind of one of the things that kind of annoys me about Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to drop it here. See, you got this line here where the, the 
edges of the film are. I'm going to drop that right here, right between them. Boom. 16.46.75. Ridley Scott Master. Okay, you have a dead you have a dead zone. There. Based on Let's see. And you wonder how's that gonna affect? We will get into that later. Based on Philip K. Dick's Do Android Stream Electric Sheep, which in and of itself as a noteworthy novel okay. and worth time to pick up and read. No. Novel or doing a retrospective or a review of the novel, but until then, uh, what I'm doing now. Is... Forward. Okay. I'm going to do Blade Runner. The movie stars Harrison Ford, Edward James Almos, Rucker Howard, and Sean Young. Okay. And because I don't have, I don't think I have an image of all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back up here. We're at a minute, four seconds, 0 0.90. So what I want to do is I'm going to back this back to four seconds each. For this, for the purposes of what we're doing right now, we're going to go totally discard and not worry about the minute. All we're looking at is seconds. So we're going to run this back to four seconds even. Four plus seven is, is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we know at one minute, eleven seconds, we need to stop. So what we need to go here is go ahead and cut, drop another edit in here another split and go out to 11 seconds the movie stars Harrison Ford Edward James almost that almost never happens that was an accident I couldn't do that again if I tried a hundred times one minute 11 seconds even that's just a fluke but that is seven seconds okay Delete. Home. Let's see, do I have a picture with everybody in it? No, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pull picture of Harrison Ford. Of course, we're going to have to play the Set, we're going to have to play the move game with it. Which, ah, oh, come on. So, this is basically how we do our putting our pictures in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the video off, finish editing in my pictures, because you should have, at this point, a grasp of how the pictures get done. Um, I'll finish in editing in my pictures. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to fix the dead spots of sound where the pictures are. Okay, we have gotten all of our images that I'm going to use put in. Like I said, we've got these dead spots like here. 82 Ridley Scott Master. So, now what we're going to have to do so we're going to have to figure out how to fix Based that. Based on Philip K. Dick's Do Android Stream Electric Sheet. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Home. Go over to Save here. A little high definition. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this BR... T E M P. This is just a temporary, and we're going to save it. And this is going to take a while. 
So I will in post, I will edit it, this whole saving process down to nothing. Just because you watching files get saved is kind of like watching paint dry. Okay, we are about done saving. Um, when I reload it, it's going to take it a while to reload the audio. So we're probably going to have another edit at that point. But we've got it. We've got this much saved. So let's take a peek at it and see what we got going. Hello and welcome to this video. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. B as in Blade Runner. Yes, today. So it's looking good. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. We're going to pull it back up. We're going to open. We're going to come down to our BR temp. Open it up. As you see around here, it's going to take it a while to load the audio. So, we'll come back when we'll probably do a, we'll probably do another fade edit just for saving time on the video. Okay, our sound is just about loaded. There we go. So, let's play. Hello, and welcome to this video. So, somewhere in here we'll have a dead zone, see? We still don't have audio. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add audio. We're going to go here. I'm going to add music. Maybe. Hopefully. So. Hopefully it'll let me, there we go. But now what I'm going to do is I am going to come back to here, edit. As you say, see no items you met, it knew no items match your search. Remember earlier in the video when I told you to drop down audio video? Now what I want to do is go back over here. I want to load just the audio. Now. You see these peaks and waves here, peaks and valleys in the video. You scroll down, and you make sure they pretty much they should line up. They do a pretty good job. Then what I want to do is I want to go back to edit video volume. I want to mute it. So what I should get is Hello and welcome to this video. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. B as in Blade Runner. Yes, today's video is going to be about the 1982 Ridley Scott masterpiece Blade Runner um, very 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 loosely based on Philip K. Dick's Do Android Stream Roulette and that is how you get your audio over your videos so now that I'm satisfied with that I will go here to a random spot down here just to double check um, what they do is they want to extend their lifespan, which is only four years. Um, the Terrell Corporation, which created them, put a lifespan of four years. Okay. All of the versions of you just Blade make Runner sure that I have, I have the final cut, which has... What all you're doing by doing this is making sure that your your mouth movement and your audio are synced and it seems to be pretty good. So um what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this again. 
So, we'll go back to home, back to you, go back to high definition, and we're going to overwrite or replace this here, and wait, 900 years again. Okay, we have finished this saving. So, we're going to go ahead and close. Exit. No, we're going to open. Minus this. Back to you. Uh, reopen. Blade Runner temp. Open. And this again is going to take... It's going to reload the audio because it just sees it as a new film. Okay, we are done loading the audio. So, see what we got. Hello, and welcome to this video. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. B, as in Blade Runner. Yes, today's video is going to be about the 1982 Ridley Scott masterpiece Blade Runner. Okay. Um, Looking good. So what we need to do now is go back up to here. Open this up. And we've hit, we, we get to add our fair use disclaimer. And we're going to take it and move it to the beginning. And... Then we'll take this and put it back here. I'll go to my animations. Do a fade. Go here. Hello. There we and go. Welcome to this video. Today's video is brought to you by the letter B. B, as in Blade Run. So, now, we go up here. Actually, what I want to do is I want to come down here, because I have some dead space at the end. See here? Peace, love, joy. See? About all that dead space. So, what I want to do is go... Peace, love, joy. I'm going to edit. I'll split that off. And what I want to do is I want to add peace, love, joy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add this picture here. That's just kind of fan service for people that have seen Blade Runner and, the, and that are fans of the movie. It's kind of fan service thing. Joy. And, and see what we got. Until next time. Peace, love, joy. And there we go. That is it fully edited. So we'll come back up here. I like to put the curse at the beginning of the movie because in older versions of Movie Maker, when you told it to save, it saved for the curse it was at. So I'm in a habit of making sure it's the beginning of the movie. This particular version, I don't think it's a big deal, but we'll go here to high definition display. And this time I'm going to call it 1982 Blade Runner. And that is how I edited this video. Um, and save. So, I hope you learned something. I hope you got something out of this. Um, until next time, peace, love, and joy. Bye.